Hi, I'm Lisa Lane and I'm here to welcome you to History 105, History of England Honors Online. It's MiraCosta's first online honors class and I know it's going to be great. So the idea here is for me to kind of tour you around a little bit and let you know what the class is going to be like. Uh, the first thing we need to deal with is that it's in a different system here. Uh, we're using a development server, they call it, uh, for me to run this class. So miracostadev.mrooms3.net is how you log in. At that point, it should be easy. You should be able to put in your surf ID and password and get into the class right away. So let me know if you have any problems with that. Once you are in the class, it looks like this, and this may be a little different from what you're used to seeing, even if you've had online classes before. The thing I like about Moodle, which is the system I'm using here, is that it lets me lay things out like a syllabus instead of putting um, different categories of activities into different uh, buttons and boxes. So uh, keep in mind then, the syllabus for the class really is the main page of the class. And right now I've got the first three weeks open for viewing and activity. So let's take a look at what the course is going to be like. Uh, I've got right here at the beginning that each week students do certain things. And that lets you know that this is a class that has a weekly pattern. So every week you'll be reading and listening to a lecture, which you want to do near the beginning of the week reading and annotating some primary sources that go along with the lecture, and taking a mini quiz on the lecture. The activity and where you'll be doing most of your work are in the forums. Two forums will be set up for each week. One is a discussion forum, and each discussion forum will have some group leaders. You'll need to sign up to be a group leader twice, although we'll just sign up for one at first so people can grab their favorite topics and you would do that sign up here, signing up for discussion forum leaders. So if you're interested in a particular topic already, you already know a little bit about the history of England, and you'd really like to lead the conversation, uh, sign up right away for which discussion you'd like to lead. Each discussion every week will have three leaders. One is the topic leader that decides what we're going to talk about. One is the discussion facilitator, and that person will help keep the conversation going. And one is an illustrator who's going to add media to the conversation as we have it. So the discussion forum will have it weekly, and you'll need to lead it twice in two different roles, but we're just going to sign up for one uh, right at the beginning. The second forum is called the Sources and Writing Forum, and that's where you're doing your primary source work and your writing. We'll post a primary source, everybody will, uh, by Wednesday midnight every week. And then I will come in on Thursday, sometimes Friday morning, uh, write about what has been posted, the collection that the class has created, and provide some guidance on what I want you to do with writing. And then you'll come back to the forum and post your writing by Sunday night. That will happen every week, and that's the main writing component for the class. Writing is very important for history, and we'll be using a particular pattern that I'll teach you as we go along. It says here, because this is an honors class, there are no major exams, just the activities that I've mentioned. Uh, but there are a couple of contribution assessments, self-assessments that I grade. Um, and that, that's really uh, the grading. Let's take a look at the grading over here. Um, this column here has several things in addition to the grading. It has the course information with the basic information about the class and any books. There aren't any books. Uh, the grading policies are here. Uh, there's some information on writing a historical thesis, because we'll be doing that in the writing section of the forums. And there's a large FAQ, frequently asked questions, how do I post this, how do I do this, uh, all of that is there. It's a good first stop. Now back to the grading. The mini quizzes are very, very short, designed to make sure you've got it with the lecture. And so all together, those are 10% of the grade. The contribution assessments, you'll be doing them twice, once toward the middle of the term and once near the end. And those contribution assessments are a self-assessment where you go through your work and um, talk about it and how it corresponds to what level we're looking for. And your attendance, the annotations you've done, the work that you've done. You discuss that 
in the contribution assessment and that is graded. So that's really where the participation is, is graded and participation is very, very important in an honors class. The sources and thesis writing that you do every week also all together, all of those together are 40% of the grade and then you have a final project that is 10%. It's a 100 point system because I'm not very good at math and 100 makes it easy for me. The due dates here, most of them are things we do every single week. So by Tuesday around noon, the topic leader needs to start the discussion in the discussion forum and decide what direction we're taking. Uh, we begin that discussion on Tuesday, but it may continue beyond that week. If we continue to be interested in the topic, we'll just keep going. Wednesday, uh, the lecture reading, the primary source annotation, the mini quiz, those should all be completed by Wednesday. And then that's the day we post the primary source to the sources and writing forum. Uh, then I come in again and talk about those sources. Then by Sunday, your mini essay uh, writing, thesis writing, is due in the sources and writing forum uh, following the instructions that I post. That's what happens every single week. In addition to that, you'll notice on the syllabus there are optional readings. This is for people who want to go a little more in depth. Um, sometimes it's frustrating to do a survey course because you're sort of doing a flyover of the whole history of a country from the beginning to now. And some people like to go in, especially honor students, like to get in a little bit deeper. So I've posted some optional readings and uh, those can be annotated also to just add a little depth. They're not required in any sense, but you're welcome to, to read them and participate in analyzing them. So the due dates that are not just weekly are listed here. The contribution assessments due around the middle of the term and near the end and the final project. So I think this is going to be a great semester. I'm really looking forward to teaching an honors class. I haven't had a chance to do one in a few years. And I'm very pleased to, to be doing this flagship project, if you like, of uh, Honors Class Online. So I think we're going to have a great semester and enjoy the class.